The Douglas VC-54C, also known as the Sacred Cow, was a military transport aircraft developed by the Douglas Aircraft Company during World War II. It was a specially modified version of the C-54 Skymaster, a four-engine, long-range transport plane. The VC-54C was specifically designed for the transportation of high-ranking U.S. government and military officials, including the President of the United States. The most famous VC-54C, tail number 42 to 107,451, was the first aircraft purpose-built for presidential use. It entered service in 1944 and was used primarily by President Franklin D. Roosevelt and, later, President Harry S. Truman. The aircraft received its nickname, Sacred Cow, because of the strict security measures and protocols surrounding its use. The VC-54C featured a number of unique modifications, such as a conference room, sleeping quarters, a retractable elevator to accommodate President Roosevelt's wheelchair, and additional communications equipment. The aircraft played a significant role in American history as it transported President Roosevelt to the Yalta Conference in 1945 and later carried President Truman to the Potsdam Conference after the end of World War II. The Sacred Cow was retired in 1947 and replaced by a modified Douglas C-118 Liftmaster, known as the Independence, as the primary presidential aircraft. The VC-54C is currently preserved at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. The Douglas VC-54C Sacred Cow not only marked an important milestone in the history of presidential transportation, but also laid the groundwork for the future development of Air Force One, the call sign used for any aircraft carrying the President of the United States. The C-54 Skymaster, the aircraft on which the VC-54C was based, was a reliable and versatile transport plane that played a crucial role during World War II. Designed in the early 1940s, it was used for various purposes such as cargo transport, troop transport, and medical evacuation. The Skymaster's long-range capabilities and its ability to carry a significant payload made it an ideal choice for the presidential transport role. During its service, the Sacred Cow enabled presidents to travel efficiently and securely while maintaining communication with the government. This was essential during a time when international diplomacy and global conflict required leaders to be more mobile than ever before. It's worth noting that the Sacred Cow was involved in a historical event on July 26, 1947, when President Harry S. Truman signed the National Security Act aboard the aircraft. This act led to the creation of the Department of Defense, the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, and the National Security Council, NSC. As presidential travel needs evolved, newer and more advanced aircraft replaced the Sacred Cow. The Boeing 707 was introduced as the presidential aircraft in 1959, serving Presidents Eisenhower through Nixon, followed by the Boeing 747-200B, which has been in service since 1990. Today, the legacy of the VC-54C Sacred Cow continues through Air Force One, which has become a symbol of the United States presidential power and mobility.